So it's a rainy day in San Diego today. A lot of people don't think San Diego rains and it really doesn't that often because it's technically a desert. But it's a rainy day in San Diego. Hey! I had a couple meetings at the church today and I kind of feel like a, when you go somewhere and you're wearing like gym clothes or sweats or something, people are like, ooh. You are not ready for the day, are you? And I'm like, no, I am. I just like to be comfortable. But now I'm at the gym and I'm wearing regular clothes. And then I feel out of place. So it's like I go there, wear gym clothes, feel out of place. Come here, wear regular clothes, feel out of place. So I'm done with my meetings today. It's time to change. <sighs> much better, much more comfortable. So this workout footage is going to be me because someone behind the camera is not working out. So, you're going to see me doing some Tabata. A whole lot of Tabata. A whole lot of Tabata. So, Samantha Hale, <laughs> so nice to have you here on the channel. Welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, the people want to know about your diabetes. Anytime you're in it, anytime you're in the video, they go, what about Sam's diabetes? How's CrossFit and diabetes? How's Sam's diagnosis? How's she doing? So, this, I figured this would be a good opportunity for you to tell people how you're doing. Well, it's a very new thing. I was diagnosed back in September, like mid-September. So I'm still like getting used to everything. It's been a crazy few months, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go through all the like frequently asked questions of your diabetes. Okay. The first one is, how did you know? Usually when people think of diabetes, they think of- Unhealthy eating, unhealthy not eating, working out. Yeah. And so there is like, there's two different types, type one and type two. I have type one. Type two is what the stereotype is. For the last couple months, I just wasn't feeling that good. But I'm just like, uh, you know, maybe I'm just going through a funk, you know? Mm -hmm. Didn't think anything of it. At the gym, I'd be like, so worn out, out of breath. I'm like, maybe the workouts are getting harder. I don't know. And then other things started happening. Like my, I wear contacts, so my, my prescription isn't that bad. And then lately I'm like, my eyes are blurry. Maybe like I need to get a new prescription. I don't know. And then I never wake up in the middle of the night ever. And I kept waking up multiple times to go to the bathroom. Like I had to pee so much. And every single time I'd wake up, I would just start chugging water because I was so thirsty. And I was like, well, maybe I'm peeing every night, like three times a night. And I was like, well, maybe I'm doing that because I'm drinking so much water, but it still would happen. So like all these weird things I didn't know were symptoms of having diabetes. And so I was like, this is weird. So then I looked it up. Obviously that's the first thing that comes up. So I was talking to you, I was talking to Caleb, you know, and I was like, guys, I think I have diabetes. Not thinking I really did. And we're like, no, you don't. Remember? Yeah, you don't have diabetes. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that kind of made me feel better. Like, okay, yeah, I don't. And I'm like, whatever. And then as everything started getting worse and worse, I was like, I'm gonna email my doctor. So I did, and she was like, quit drinking so much water. And I emailed her again, and she said like, oh, no, no, you're fine. Then I emailed her again, and she's like, okay, well, I'll just put in some blood work, you know? So I get my blood work done, she called the next morning and says, you have type one diabetes. And then you called me. Crying. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was. Yeah, oh, crap, <laughs> like, okay. Because it's like, I'm like, okay, I have this, but I don't know what it means, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I think that whole entire week was doctor visit, endocrinologist visit, specialist visit, all these things. They're like, okay, so literally I'm told I have diabetes. Okay, I don't know what that means. Go to all these visits and they're like, okay, now you have this chronic illness you'll have for the rest of your life. And here are these ginormous needles that you have to use now to give yourself insulin. And then I'm like, what? Like this, literally like that Sunday we were at Disneyland eating like ice cream, you know? That's probably making my blood sugar go out crazy. Yeah. And then Monday I am have diabetes. Um, what I think is like so crazy is that 
like 60 years ago, 80 years ago, 100 years ago, like that was a death sentence. I know, like, that that's so crazy. That blows my mind. I was actually just watching a video, like making sure I knew more stuff about it before we filmed this. And there was a guy who is diabetic and his mom also had type 1 diabetes and she died from it. Oh, wow. And it's just like, that's one generation out. Where yeah. They were dying of diabetes. And so there's like insulin. So you have um, insulin you have to take because your body is slowly stopping making insulin. Yeah, so for type 1, your pancreas just stops producing insulin. And then with type 2, they're still producing a good amount. It's just not like reacting the same way. I don't really know the correct terminology, but type 1, like my pancreas, basically is dead now. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. So your body isn't creating insulin anymore. Insulin is what keeps your blood sugar low. If you're not taking insulin, your blood, sugar, your blood sugar starts going up. Mm -hmm. um, extended periods of high blood sugar result in comatose, in weak, uh, your body starts eating, it's like burning itself away, right? Yeah. Um, and so like, it's a real disease that really kills people. Because you have to manage it yourself. Like, it's totally fine if you're managing it, then it's like, fine, you can live a normal life. But then, like, people who just, I don't want to do it today. Like, if you don't want to diabetes today, then it's like, that long term yeah. is not good. Um, will, another FAQ. Okay. Um, will going paleo or keto cure your diabetes? No. Type to quit one. asking. <laughs> type, type 1 diabetes. Yeah, type 1. Like, obviously, people have different ways they want to eat, and I think the way I have been eating works for me. Um, I know how to count macros and stuff. So they, they teach you how to do carb counting because that's what you need to take insulin. How many carbs you're eating is how much insulin you need to take. Um, and I already do that, you know? So I take insulin at every meal that I'm eating carbs with, which... Carbs are in a lot of things, and then I take insulin at night. Does diabetes get in the way of working out? Um, I wouldn't say it gets in the way, but you have to be on your toes at all times. So a lot of cardio-based workouts can lower your blood sugar, um, so you have to be careful. But because CrossFit's more intense, it usually doesn't lower it, and it keeps Sometimes it spikes it, so I'm still trying to learn on how to... For everything I've read about it yeah. is steady state cardios, AMRAPs, stuff like that, it's going to lower it. Yeah. But when you're doing like weight lifting and it's like hot, like... like it's like stressful to your body. Yeah, stress is what's going to cause it to raise. Yeah. And so, so it doesn't raise... Too, sorry, it hasn't raised too much. It just go up high, a little bit higher. And then as soon as I'm like cooled down a bit, it's like a perfect... Yeah. And it's just like a stress-induced kind of yeah. reaction. So you can't, what you're saying is you can't work out your diabetes away. You can't eat your diabetes away. Type one diabetes is a chronic illness. Is that what it is? Yeah. Chronic disease, meaning, meaning that it's for the rest of your life, long lasting chronic. Um, and it's just something that you have to manage. Yeah. Is there a cure? No, not yet. I'm hopeful that there will be in the future, but there is no cure. It hasn't even been three months. Um, the first couple weeks were rough, and I was crying a lot, and he had to deal with it. But I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. Every day is like an experiment, and I'm just trying to manage it, um, which the doctor said I was doing fantastic so far. So, yeah. They, the doctor basically told me, well, keep doing what you're doing. Like they didn't really have too much to tell me because they were like, eat right. And I was like, okay. They're like, make sure you drink a lot of water. I'm like, okay. And they're like, and don't go more than two days without exercise. And I was like, darn. <laughs> so. So you're doing everything right. Yeah. You were doing everything right already, but you still got it. Yeah. Which is so crazy just going from literally living life to one day being dumped all this stuff on me and it was your the fact that you were eating well drinking enough water sleeping working out because you were so in tune with what your body felt like when it was good 
Mm -hmm. That's kind of why you knew as these things were happening. Yeah. So a lot of people when they're diagnosed are hospitalized because their body is running at high, such high blood sugar, like so high, way like 10 times more than it's supposed to be. Um, but mine, they probably said I've only had it for a few months before being diagnosed because I kind of diagnosed myself and kind of bugged my doctor. And they were like, you caught it pretty early on. Like this doesn't usually happen. Mm -hmm. So where you're at right now, your body will stop making, your pancreas will stop making insulin, but you're kind of in this weird period where your pancreas is dying. Yeah, so I think it's tapering off now because I'm needing more insulin, but yeah, my pancreas won't produce insulin anymore. Well, let's take a moment of silence for your dead pancreas. Um, well, I hope that answers all your questions, anything you wanted to know about Sam and how she's doing CrossFit and diabetes. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below and Sam will answer them. Yeah. Because she's always reading the comments. <laughs> she's always like, did you see what that person said to you? And I'm like, yes, I saw it. Like, oh my goodness. Or she'll be like, who's that one person who always dislikes your videos? <gasps> yeah, who is it? Because I want to know. Just it's like one person. It's like I uploaded a dislike. I, if I disliked, I would say why. I'd be like, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Secret is me. No, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions about it, that's gonna be the end of the video. So, Yay! Sam, thank you for being my guest on the. I feel so far away sitting from yeah. you. Thank you for being a guest on the Just Keep On Doing What You're Doing and You'll Get Diabetes podcast. Yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you. And until next time, peace. Thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> Should we see what my blood sugar is right now? Sure. And it's a hundred. Oh, that's that's not even planned. And that is what us diabetic people call unicorns. Because it's such a perfect number. <laughs> it's right so in the perfect. Middle. Yeah, you're managing this well.